All right, cool. Testing, testing, audio. Yo, what's up, y'all? We're back for another episode. Cool? All right, cool. Are we rolling? All right, cool. What's up, y'all? Back with another episode. Uh, This week, you know, me and Mark are just going to walk around Williamsburg for a little bit, which is in Brooklyn if you're not based in New York. And uh, I'm just going to load up some Ektar 100, take a couple of shots, and talk about it a little bit later. I haven't shot Ektar 100 a ton on 35 millimeter, so it'll be nice to kind of talk about it a little bit more. And I also noticed that you guys really like the Ultramax episode, so I think it'd be nice to kind of go through a couple other film stocks on 35. For the most part on my channel, I've shot with pretty much only the Texas Leica, so it'll be nice to kind of dive into some of these 35 millimeter film stocks. So let me know, y'all, if y'all have some film stocks that you think I should try. I think Color Plus 200 for the next round, but if y'all have something else in mind, let me know. Oof, I see. It's crazy, cause like, when I watch videos, I just wanna see how people load their cameras. To me, that's my favorite part. Yo, have you ever shot Ektar at 50? No. Yeah, I think so. I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, of course. Yo, one other thing. I just want to throw it as a tip for y'all shooter with an M6. The light meter is really amazing, but sometimes take your time and still meter for the shadows because you can still, it can still get muddy every once in a while if you get too comfortable too quick. So still meter for the shadows, especially when you're like going fast. See like everything's gated up. I kind of like the light on this. That's dope. Bro, that's fire. Yo, I got you looking. Yo, you looking through the mirror? That shit is fire, bro. <laughs> there we go. Is that like only a New York type of moment? Yeah. Anywhere else, someone would be like, fuck Yeah. Yeah, or they wouldn't even have pulled up so cool. I'm, let me try to get it one more time. As he passes by. I'm gonna just go ahead and meet her there. Yo, what if I try to get, I'm gonna try to get the sign in that shit too. I think I did get her. Got it. All right, now we're in, a, we're in our bag. We're in our, <laughs> a light four. I like the light over here. I'm going to just take it just to keep warming up. Y'all, warming up, warming up is real. Sometimes you just got to shoot, man. Sometimes you just got to get it going. That trigger finger. Like when you're working, still got to warm up too? Nah. For real? Yeah. I mean, yes. Like I gotta blow first 10 shots. Let me check over here. You know, like, if it, a lot of times for work, I feel like, watch out, bro. A lot of times for work, I feel like the, the inspiration's already hit. If I'm walking into like a restaurant or a hotel, I don't, I'm just like already like, boom. But you know what, actually, you know what I think? I think for work, I take the best stuff when I first get there like the first day and the last day or at the beginning and at the end. It's like usually like that is usually when like I take the best. Light hitting those flowers kind of crazy. <clears throat> That's hard. See how this. 
Let's see how this Ektar is gonna hold up on 50. How you doing, bro? I kind of like this chair right here too. I don't know why, I'm just like a sucker for like intimate moments like this, like scenes like that, just a chair. Yeah, the showers are hard. I just can't, I gotta do too much, but I'm gonna do too much. Just to get it. That's fine. All right, we can keep it moving. Yo, we're trying to do something different. We've been talking about making my YouTube episodes more organic, so we felt like we had to go about it a different way. So now Mark's shooting it, because that's usually who I'm actually shooting with when I'm out shooting and stuff. So we have that rapport, we have that vibe, so it's easy for us to go out and shoot together. So that's what we're doing. This spot looks kind of cool. I'm gonna try to line this up. I wish those flowers were real, cause I would, I'm gonna add them anyway. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, that's cool. If anyone cares, situations like this, I all, almost always focus on letters, so. I focused on the bar bistro sign. Stay out here, bro. The ISO 50 don't work. Mark, get out my shot, bro. How you doing? Thank you, how you doing, man? I just wanted to take a photo, it's really beautiful. Thank you, bro. I'll be quick, man. Nice vibe. Thank you, bro. Nice. Yeah, it looks vibey in here. If I can get it from this angle, I'll, I'll chill after this. This is it for me. See, like right now, y'all, like, if I got too excited and I got too rushed, I would've forgot to expose for the shadows. And I would've just ended up exposing for the highlights because that's what the camera would've did. Uh, got it, we out. Okay. Yo, thanks bro. Vibes. I kinda like this sign. But do I like this? I'll just frame it. I'm exposed. Give me a 125. Thanks, bro. You gotta take a little break for some promo. Y'all get it. Yeah, y'all get it. We out here trying to ball out just like everybody else. Something's going on, I'm not sure. Yeah, I've been trying this, I've been trying to do this new technique that I picked up from Joe Merowitz. I mean, kind of noticing his compositions, he, he gets lower and then he kind of like zooms out. In a way, that's a cool guy. Right? Let's do it. He kind of like zooms out and makes it like very like, I don't know, it makes his shot very heroic. Yo, how's the book coming along right now? Do you want to pre-shout it out? Yeah, it's on <laughs> Bro, just give it a little tease. No, 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 no. Why are you going to change the title? No, I won't, but you just don't want to keep it in the chamber. <laughs> Cause I feel like I can shout it out right now with like three or four photos that you already released. All right. All right. So basically, Mark is dropping a book that. Like up, not me. So. Yeah, Mark's dropping a book, y'all. It's gonna be fire, but he's taking the approach of basically pretty much every photo in the book will be unreleased, and it's been really inspiring to talk about because it's something that I personally want to do, 
just to like go somewhere, travel, sit on that body of work until it comes out in book form. It's really dope, but he has a title. I won't share anything. I'll share a couple photos right now of kind of what, the, where the book and the direction is going, but he has a couple more places. So be on the lookout for that. Appreciate you. Yeah. This is kind of a cool corner. I'm gonna take it. What's up behind you? Uh, life's good on this door. Let's do a little detail shot. Uh, it's just, I just want to see what it's going to look like. The light's hitting. Alright, so here's something I would say. If, if you're going to walk in to an establishment just to take a photo, which I do a decent amount of times, I try to get my settings and everything dialed in before. So that way you're not wasting a lot of time. So here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and be like F4 and 60, 60 just had it. How you doing? I'm doing good. Do you mind if I take a picture? Take a picture? Yeah, it's just this, it looks really fire. Thank you. They worked out, they were down. They felt the vibes. It looks like it's hitting the Tacombi sign kind of thing. Let's go right here. Something's here. I'm gonna try to get this. I like the light. I'm gonna try to get the little umbrella in front and the table. And perfect example, meter for the shadows and then get busy. Yeah. I like the crooked effect, makes it feel like you got them. Also, the light, that's kind of fire. Oh, the crayons too, the colors. Come through, Let's see where we at. Bump up to 125. Um, I've just been loving the results I've been getting with the M6 since I bought it. So I think it's been like four. How long have I had this camera? Since. June. So yeah, like ever since I've had this camera, I've just really been enjoying the results that I just get from it and the the ability to shoot all the time with it. I just have it. I think creatively it's like really kind of opened me up too. So yeah, we're here. It's a wrap. Alright y'all. Oh actually, yo, we can't make this shit up. Yo, we can't make it up. I'm not. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to figure it out, but I, it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna take it. Right, it's the last shot. See, look, I found it. First off, let me get off ISO 50. Let's start there. That'll give me some more aperture. Oh, it's closed up. I think I want it about right there. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Yeah, this shit crazy, so I'm gonna just try to do it this way. Yeah, that was it. I wonder if I can get it from one more angle, though. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's see. What's the shot I was talking about? Yo, maybe I could just, this is gonna be hard as hell. <laughs> let's see how it turns out. Maybe I can just crop if some of the fence gets in the shot. I'm shooting 28, so if anything. I could probably still crop it and it'll still look fire. All right, y'all, so that's it. Uh, I need to get this roll probably out ASAP so this video can be live before the show. 
um, back to the crib. All right, y'all. So we are back at the crib and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun making it with Mark and I plan on making a few more in the next coming weeks. So let me know what you guys think. I will be doing one on color plus 200 for sure. Maybe another film stock. Um, we'll see. Um, I do. Speaking of film stocks, I do want to talk about a few photos with this Ektar 100 being rated at 50. I think first and foremost, I will say I've done this before and I've liked the results in places like Mexico, where it's really vibrant and lush here. Not so much, to be honest with you. I don't really know um, so much concrete in New York. I don't know if I really need to do this again. Um, but with that said, I did like the way it looked at this Tecumbi scene um, shooting Ektar 100 at 50 kind of shows off a little bit of the red and the blues in a really cool interesting way i thought that was really cool um but other than that not a super fan of doing that maybe it's just the city because i've loved it before but yeah so that was cool um other than that y'all i will see you guys i think next week I have a couple of episodes to piece together that i've shot recently if there's any kind of other episode you want me to make uh let me know um See you guys next week. Peace.